Okay, so this is a video for Mr. Shake's uh, rotation of grade 9. This is part of the uh, logo design component. hope this is working. Yeah, I think it's working. I'm not sure. Okay, so we've all worked on our initials. Uh, we talked about the process, and now we're just taking uh, pictures using um, Photo Booth, which we did something like this. We held it up, we took a picture, and then there's the picture. Okay, so remember that in order for you to bring it into Krita, you just need to drag this like this on the desktop, okay? Like that. All right, it goes to the desktop, it's there. And we're inside Krita. Um, and I'm just gonna bring Krita up. And basically, you're gonna get a piece of, sh you're gonna get a sheet like this. And you're gonna zoom in, zoom out, uh, middle scroll button, or uh, plus minus plus. Lastly, you also have to hold the space bar, left click to pan around. Okay, so we're gonna bring the picture in. So I'm just gonna get rid of all this and uh, just come back to my image. So basically what we did is we colored here. There's examples of just kind of really having fun with different brushes, pencil, paint, all that kind of stuff. You can see here, I did the same thing, JM over here. I just, you know, basically took a picture, brought it in here and painted over. I'm gonna do that super fast, all right? Here we go. First thing first, uh, resize Krita uh, so you have like this to the side, okay? Next thing is you're just gonna grab that picture. It's okay, Calum, it's all right, sorry. Don't worry about it, just like that. And then you insert as a new file, okay? And it should be in the top left corner. So if I hit minus, there it is, okay? So it's there and I wanna move it, right? I wanna move this. Ah, oh boy, I should bring this monitor over, whatever. Okay, it doesn't matter. Okay, so here it is, okay? So here's the tool I'd like you to use. And let me just uh, resize this for a second like that here i'm going to try to keep this quick because i've demoed this a number of times but it's good for review purposes okay spacebar move this around minus plus plus in terms of moving an object as long as you're in that layer so i'm going to say my sketch for example here okay there it is and i'm going to click here i'm going to move it around okay so i'm just going to hold shift and resize it for example i'm going to make it massive something like that okay so this is my supposed uh, sketch from my references there it is and i'm going to show you how to get rid of your fingers and all that kind of stuff super quick okay i just press enter after using this tool so it's a transform tool all right this is a, a selection tool a polygonal lasso tool so basically if i just do this boom boom left click left click here press uh, x uh, on your keyboard the delete key not delete it's there's a second one that says an x on it that one will do it okay so if you press delete it does something else. We don't want that, okay? So we're gonna do, or you can do a Command X. That'll work too, okay? So I can even take this one, the rectangle marquee, just go like this, boom. Uh, it's like a backslash on a Mac, okay? Like that, boom, backslash, and then Command D to deselect, and then Command T, reset. So if this doesn't work, just come over here, select this, put it there. Second, make it as large as possible. The trick is, we're gonna color large and then we're gonna resize it to make it small, okay? So here it is, there's my work, Mr. Bellion, it's here. Not perfect, it's perfectly fine. So we lock it up, that means I can't touch this layer anymore. Down here, the plus, new layer. Grab a brush, any, and before using the brush, for example, I can come in here and say, I'm gonna think in layers, okay? And I'm gonna do all my paints at half the opacity, okay? So I'm gonna come in here, get this uh, rectangle tool, go like this. And I'm gonna say, I'm gonna make a red logo for Mr. Ballion. So red, here's my red color, but I'm not gonna stay at 100, I'm gonna do 50%. Later on, I will change the opacity to be 100% so we won't see the thing underneath. We're gonna grab the paint bucket, you're gonna drop it. And I said 50%, that did not work, so I'll undo, Command Z. Okay, let's go Command Z. Okay, and there's my paint bucket, drop. That's better, half, okay? Excellent, so that layer is done, next layer. Command D, deselect. Grab the rectangle tool again and make a box for this part. So your name, okay? So you're using your first name, I'm using my last name, okay? So I'm just gonna come in here, I'm gonna change the color up a bit. I don't know, just for fun right now, just so that I can block it out. So this is the kind of the process. Okay, so I'm gonna get my paint bucket and I'm gonna go boom, right here, done. Deselect, Command D. Okay, and the reason why this is working because uh, somewhere here, I think under edit, uh, is it under edit? Where is it? Windows. Um, where is it? Crit here. Preferences. On Windows, it's somewhere else. So on preferences, this is what I did. 
I went into keyboards and I changed it from default to Photoshop compatible. Okay, Photoshop compatible. That way my hotkeys work in Adobe Photoshop. All right, so let's get out of this new layer. Uh, my stylus is here, B for brush, which is right there. So what you could do is right now is pick, pick that same tool. For example, just go like this. You're basically doing a simple trace. And what we want to do is have a background solid color. So I'm just going to do one letter. The rest you can do yourself, okay? So this is the blocking, and I'm going to pick a color right now. I'm just going to go with some kind of a dark blue here. Bring my paint bucket and drop it, okay? So there it is. So if I did a little more, boom, like that, okay? Always work with a solid color first. I can make a new layer above this. Notice the marching ants. These little ants are moving. That's a Photoshop term. This time I'm actually going to use my brush, which is here. Okay, you click up, I use a pencil to sketch, and I use these two brushes side by side, these two, okay? So now I'm in brush mode. I'm uh, just gonna have fun, and I'm just gonna change the color a bit. Just gonna, gonna come in here, and I'm gonna keep this at 100 just for fun. So there's my shape, the marching ants are there. I'm doing something like this just for fun. There you go, okay? I could do that. Command D, deselect, so I could go or undo, leave that selected, so I don't go outside the, the area. So if I want to do a little bit of highlights, I could go like this, like that, here, whatever I want, okay? So you can kind of have fun with it. You want to come and have paint, um, gradual color changes, you could do stuff like this. I'm pressing plus and minus, come in here, make your brush massive, reduce the opacity, and just kind of play around. You see, I'm just painting for fun. Now what I'm doing is pressing command, pick this color, and it's gonna go, I'm just kind of playing with it, okay? So this is my, my, my text, Mr. Bellion. There you go, something like that. So you go for each one. You have fun with it. Uh, you want to use different colors. You can come in here and kind of do stuff like this, whatever you want, okay? And you can say, I don't like that color. I'm going to do it one color, and I'm going to go dark to light, for example. I'm going to go a little darker over here like this, like that. And I go a little brighter for fun like that, okay? And then I can do dark in here whatever. So basically you're just having fun, okay? I can pick another layer. I'm going to deselect command D and use my pencil tool. Uh, it's one up here like that and go really dark and I'm going to go over my work. So I'm going to go change it to uh, maybe a dark blue and I'm just going to come in here and just kind of do stuff like this. Okay, you're just having fun. Short strokes, that kind of thing. Okay? And I'm going to continue my letters this way. So this was a nice way to save your logo idea right there. So you see, I can come in here like that, clean it, and then you can bring the eraser tool, which is over here. Just come in here like that, erase anything you don't want, okay? Because everything's on a different layer. I'm not affecting the things underneath, okay? So if I wanted to, I can make a layer underneath all this, okay? I can make a new box like this. And I can say, this is whatever color. For example, blue, we'll go something like that. Solid color, and I can drop the paint bucket for more contrast. And why am I not seeing it? I have no idea why I'm not seeing it. Oh, God, because I'm on a race, that's why. <laughs> that's why, boom, there you go. So there's a color. Now yeah, I'll go in here for myself. I'll do something like this. Okay, not working now. I'll keep the pastel color. So there's my A, okay? So that's the idea. Command D, and then you zoom out. You basically, when you're all done, we're gonna merge all these layers by going right click, merge, with layer below, like that. And it becomes one thing and then we bring it in, okay? So for me, I'm just having fun with this. Um, I'll demo some more cool stuff. So if you go back to my website, where did it go? Not there, is it underneath here? Site. Swore I had it open here. Okay, well, it's going to bring my website up again. Okay, here we go. Okay, so basically, I took my sweet time uh, logo identity to paint here. Okay, so you can see here when you go light to dark, sometimes you highlight and it pops into 3D. That's your goal, okay? But it takes a bit of time. And then you can look at this one, same thing sick this one so I did light to dark light to dark played around with pencils this is perfectly fine for grade 9 okay that's your goal same thing over here 
okay you can come in here and doodle sketch whatever you want so I'll just do one more here okay so I can come in here I can go to the layer above this and I can take a different brush you can experiment I have no idea I've never used this marker before so now I'm going to make it super large with B for brush square brackets to make the number bigger reduce the opacity and you can just come in here and uh, pick different colors and then etch away okay so you can do stuff like this and say Mr. Bellion I want mine to be very very rough and abstract okay so you can come in here like that okay like this boom okay and then I'm gonna get my pencil tool here and I'm just gonna draw a box slowly slowly slow 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 like that okay just little things like that and at the end of the day this will be your logo that you'll put in the Google slides okay and then you know you take your time if you're not comfortable with this method here's another method ready watch this I'm undoing I'm gonna use this line tool how cool is that or this triangular line tool. watch boom one two three four okay there it is so now it's too thin okay, I'm gonna crank this up do it again two three and then double click so you see you can do stuff like that you can do single lines pick different brushes yeah, you can go over here and I have no idea what size this is how it's gonna turn out but you can do stuff like that too okay so this is more like experimentation for grade 9 okay like that all right I can go over here put another layer underneath and I'm gonna say let me see and then you can maybe go in here <laughs> have fun with this kind of stuff I don't use this kind of stuff but some people really like it you're welcome to use it okay so I'm gonna come in here and then just kind of oops hold on I'm gonna stay free reduce my size reduce the opacity and like come on there we go there we go like that so just kind of have fun with it look you can do stuff like that let go the minute you let go it gets darker when you draw again it overlaps if you don't let go the whole time it stays the same see okay this is these are really weird colors right now but oh that's why okay so just come in here and experiment and eventually what you're going to do is you're going to take this entire thing like i said right click merge so i'm going to just highlight this here shift to here and i'm going to right click merge with below so it's one layer then i'll go command t resize it i'll make it nice and small oops yeah well let's assume this is this is part of it okay i'm going to go command e which is merge and i'll go command t right here hold shift always hold shift when you're resizing this image here becomes what goes onto your google slides okay I'll, I'll help you through that part so today it's all about experimentation and uh, playing with this uh, different brushes and having fun with it okay just take your time i'm sorry but the bell's going to go soon i have to rush this okay and uh, wherever this obs is hopefully it worked